Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll give a quick demonstration of using the Apex command line export utility. Apex allows us to export workspace and application definitions so they can be transferred between environments. We can do this through the Apex interface itself, but there's always a chance someone will forget to pick the correct options and we won't get the export files we're expecting. It may be more consistent to script the exports using the command line utility. In addition to the Apex software, we'll need Java and a JDBC driver. The JDBC driver can be downloaded from Oracle. The link is in the description box below. We need to get some information before we start the demo. We connect to our workspace user, called DevWS. We use the Apex Applications view to display the workspace and application information. We'll need the workspace ID and application ID later. The command line export utility is part of the Apex software. I'll work in the temp directory, but you could do this anywhere. We unzip the Apex software and copy the JDBC driver into the utilities subdirectory. We need to set up our environment. The Java home environment variable points to a Java installation. We add the JDBC driver to the class path, as well as the utilities directory. We'll start by exporting a workspace. We use Java to run the Apex export utility, passing in several command line arguments. The JDBC connection URL, the database username, and password. We want to export a workspace that has this workspace ID. We want to maintain all IDs as they are. We can see the workspace has been exported to a file. The workspace file contains all the API calls to set up a copy of this workspace. This time we'll export an application. The command looks similar but this time we omit the X workspace flag. We include the workspace ID and the application ID of the application we want to export. The application has been exported to a file. The application export file contains all the API calls to set up a copy of the application. There are lots of variations possible. You can use the minus "-h flag to check the full usage instructions for the utility. The linked article contains some more examples, as well as Windows-based examples. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.